Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy. Before I joined Next Academy, I was working as a brand marketer for two different FMCG companies, full-time in a corporate role, and I was in charge of marketing, advertising and promotion. So learning coding actually has nothing to do with why I quit my job. I knew that tech was the future. I've had previous experiences of building websites and creating smaller projects of my own, but I had a lot of difficulties doing customizations because it's just too much technical jargon. And I picked up coding to better understand this issue and also to be a better person as a whole, especially when technology actually revolves in so many aspects of our lives these days. For a very brief period of time, I was actually exploring building social media bots, like getting a bot to repeatedly like people's photos or like favoriting or like following other accounts at super speed. But uh, that was the only experience I had with actually coding. Having no mentors, having no access to any resources, the only thing that you can learn from is actually Googling and actually doing your own research, which is very, very time consuming, especially if you don't have the fundamentals. You don't know what are the keywords to use when Googling and stuff like that. Firstly, I think Next Academy's syllabus really, really caught my attention because it teaches me how to build a website from scratch, like literally lines of code. And before this, I was more in touch with platforms such as WordPress, um, Wix and stuff like that. And you don't actually get to know or understand how the back end of these platforms work. And I think joining Next Academy really helped me understand certain processes a lot better, especially when JavaScript is so important in marketing right now because of its ability to, to give you action-related analytics and stuff like that. The Next Academy Web Development Bootcamp actually had answers a lot of my questions. Okay, it's definitely very, very stressful um, because it's every day sitting in front of the computer for 12 hours and just solving problems, the challenges that Next Academy has posed to the students. And I really think, in retrospect, I really think that this is the best way to learn programming, actually putting it into practice. And this will, this actually helped me solidify my knowledge, even though it was like close to nothing before this. And I picked up a lot of HTML and CSS best practices, which are very, very important if you want to be a digital marketer, if you have to build landing pages. You might see designs that web designs that appeal to you but you want to make some, some small customizations instead of paying someone 500 bucks and letting them know something you actually get to learn how to make small changes small edits to your website just using CSS yeah so I think that was one of the most valuable things I've learned in Next Academy it would be collaborative uh, problem solving. You actually work with a team to solve problems. You're also thrown into like a deep blue ocean where you're expected to like learn as fast as possible or risk not completing your challenge. Yeah, so I think that pressure really mounts on you and it actually helps. It actually helped me learn very, very quickly. Okay, the mentors are always available to answer your questions. Um, you, you can't expect a junior programmer to actually know everything and know how to solve every single problem. And the mentors are actually always there to guide you every step of the way, to teach you, say, if you have a problem that you like to solve, you can ask your mentor about the best way to solve the problem, the fastest way, the most efficient way, rather than writing tons and tons of like convolu convoluted code. Yeah, so mentors are very friendly, they're really cool people as well, so that makes it a lot better. It's not like the lecture style approach that you get, that I would imagine you get in a computer science degree where it's mostly theoretical, nothing to do with uh, real life solutions. The mentors are really good, they are really sharp and they're able to help you every step of the way. One of them would be um, working together, working together with your teammates and bonding and you know, people can actually start singing random songs just because they're too stressed out from coding and stuff, so it's really fun. We meet a lot of new friends and um, these people are actually very like-minded because they actually invested their time and money to come out and learn. So these are the best people to hang out with and I think the students play a very, very big role as well in giving me such a good experience. So, um, getting my eyes open in the world of programming really, really changed how I look at things. Problems now come 
as opportunities, every single problem in this world can actually be solved. You just need to put in time and resources to solve them. And, but that's up to you to judge what kind of problems are worth solving and what kind of problems are not. So it's very, very interesting because in the first week, we actually built a Sudoku solver, which is really awesome. You just put in a Sudoku board and the problem gets solved. And the programming approach is actually breaking down the problem to very, very, very small pieces and then completing them step by step. The same thing applies to the real world. Running a business, you know, if you have a project to complete, you break it down into small, small, smaller manageable pieces. Uh, so it really changed the way I think and look at things after the boot camp. Okay, so every morning expect to wake up excited to solve problems. Um, you wake up, you get to next academy, you sit down in front of the PC, and then it's coding the entire day. You're just coding and trying to solve multiple challenges within the day. Um, go out for lunch with your friends, you know, you laugh, you make programming jokes um, that you would some that you would never have gotten before joining, before learning programming, which is pretty fun for me. Um, other things, um, yeah, and do expect a lot of self-revisions. You need to go back home and like learn and solidif solidify your learnings if you actually want to make the most out of the boot camp. Yeah. And towards the end of the course, um, you are also expected to pitch your idea in front of your fellow students, in front of students of the other boot camps as well, and get criticized constructively, of course, um, about your idea and it really help um, it would really help you if you have stage fright issues, you know. I've already been applying some of the skills actually, like for example, as I mentioned before, uh, we actively use CSS and we edit HTML and stuff like to make our front end look pretty, to make uh, the user experience of our website better. In the future, I do want to build a full-on, full-blown tech solution, something like Uber or Grab. But however, currently I do not have the resources to do so. So, yeah, we're just keeping, we're, I'm just gonna keep that for a later date. However, because of this newfound knowledge, it, it has guided me in making a lot of decisions regarding uh, technology, in, regarding certain apps or plugins that we use to integrate with our business. It helps a lot. You learn how to judge whether, um, for example, FedEx's API, is it user-friendly, is it developer-friendly, how much, and you get to actually judge the companies by the quality of their APIs. Okay, so um, we run one of the biggest uh, online vape retailers in Malaysia. It's called Vape Club MY, VC International for short. Uh, and we've shipped to like um, 70 to 80 different countries already after first year of operations. This idea was actually, I, I actually came up with this idea one month after I graduated from Next Web Development Bootcamp because I just quit my job, I didn't have anything to do. Um, and the vaping scene was kicking off in Malaysia. So we actually built our MVP with the skills that I've learned in the bootcamp. And then later on, we transitioned to third-party softwares to actually help us run the business better. Yeah, so we're still doing this full time, and it's still growing every month. Well, um, I think the investment with the highest ROI possible is actually to invest in yourself. It is something that you will never ever lose if you invest in yourself. If you invest in shares, you might lose. But when you in invest in yourself, the knowledge lasts for the rest of your life. So I actually think that everyone should continue to invest on themselves. You shouldn't wait for your company to send you for training because I don't think any of these events are actually great for you. You may be able to learn, but um, I find that a practical approach that Next Academy offers is a better solution 
if you want to invest in yourself. Okay, like, um, I think you should definitely check out user reviews. Um, also, whether the syllabus actually solves your problem. There must be a reason why you want to learn programming. And you need to check whether this bootcamp would actually solve your problem. And if it would, by all means, you should just sign up, I think. Yeah. So firstly, you need to know the issue that you're facing and whether a bootcamp can solve your issue or not.